Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So the winners of the votes for the poll were pretty much tied. Um, there was only actually a couple of votes in it. So there was Princess of Darkness and there was the Avatar mod. Now, I started with Prince of Darkness mainly because I don't know anything about Avatar whatsoever. So the Avatar mod will come after we finish the When the World Stopped Making Sense playthrough. So I imagine that will be about a week or so. And then we'll dive straight into that once I've had some chance to watch and read Avatar. Um, try and find out what's happening in it before we dive into it. But this mod looks awesome. So this is Princes of Darkness, despite what it says up there in the title. It is it is still CK2 as well, but it is Princes of Darkness, which is essentially a darker version of what I can describe as well, kind of kind of a darker version of Mythos, kind of a darker version of Fantasia. Focuses on on intrigue and plots and vampires and and managing cattle or, or human beings, I suppose, and that type of thing. You know, turning people into your your thralls and. We didn't really see much of the vampire aspect of Mythos because we were a friggin' dragon when we became a vampire. So unfortunately we kind of missed that. But let's dive straight into it here. So we have the War of Princes. We have the Black Death or After Thorns. Let's take a look. So I think this DAV stands for different uh, properties. So for example, this is obviously Dark Ages Vampires. Um, VTM is Vampire the Masquerade, which is a very, very old um, sort of uh, adventure action RPG game. Probably action RPG is more appropriate. Where you play as a vampire clan and you sort of... Um, yeah, it's, it's an old PC game, basically. So, you get to pick characters related to these properties. I think with the purposes of our playthrough, if we just read through here, Dark Ages, Vampire, The War of the Princes, A Period of Conflict, blah, blah, blah. Um, this one caught my eye, mainly because the Black Death here says... Um, this is this is after the Black Death, historically. Vampiric societies in chaos. The villages of towns are depopulated of kind. Many elders enter torpor and kindred feed upon kindred. Select a custom start and choose a province. You may use the ruler designer to customize your character. So this, I think is the one we want to be playing in right now. So, let's do it. This mod adds a shit ton of mechanics. So you have to manage your population, you have to feed, you have to, you know, get yourself thralls, you have to plot to do a, a lot of things. There's influence, there's generations to take into account, so vampires that are, um, f you know, uh, uh, higher up in the generation is probably the best way to describe it. The original vampires are going to be stronger than their descendants, you know, the, the later generations of vampires. There's a lot to manage. Holy shit, this is just like Shattered Realm. Huh. Okay, um... We'll give it a go, I suppose, to start off with. And obviously, we're going to start in Rome. Because what am I, a madman? So, let's go ahead and build ourselves a, a, a delicious vampire boy. Who are we going to play as? Well, um... There are some different types of... <laughs> Nosferatu. I mean, we can play as Nosferatu. Uh, what have we got? Sir. So, so, your mouth and your, your head, sir. It seems to be missing. Courts of the Fae, we can play as a troll. Oh my god, Blue Man Group returns. The Revenge of Blue Man Group. A knocker, that means something very different in the UK. Um, we can play as a knocker, a, a slug, a slug, or we can play as a red cap. Oh, he's kind of spooky, I like him. We might have to play as Blue Man Group. Um, Chinese is not vampire brain, I don't know what you're doing there. Blue Man Group, or troll, as it says here. Sure, that seems pretty cool. Um, basically, the Norse face pack, just blue from what I can tell. All right, let's give him uh, a, a vampiric, vampiric, vampiric beard. Let's give him um, some sort of stern looking eyes. Those will do, yeah. Uh, what about his mouth as well? I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is relatively irrelevant, I think. Relatively irrelevant. All right, Kovarms, obviously that's important, so we'll leave that to last. Count Rhaenyria of Roma. Terrible name. We need a vampire name. Count Ivan and then Dynasty to suck your blood. Awesome. Ivan to suck your blood. Excellent. That's an incredible name. Ivan could pass as a vampire name. Maybe the dynasty name, we need to be a bit more subtle with that. Hang on a second. I feel like that's a little less on the nose, but, you know, it's, it's the same type of theme. Culture Italian. Are we supposed to mess with this? I feel like we should probably switch over to, like, Nosferatu religion. Oh, God. Hang on a minute. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Culture Nosferatu. That sounds fun. We'll go for that one. Religion Catholic. Um, I feel like we probably should have maybe picked a different style. We'll see how this goes to start off with. Independent clans. Um, okay, right. We've got lots of different place things to pick here. Oh my god, the Silver Fangs. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Um, where were they under then? Magic Traditions? Oh god, we've got Magic Order of Mercury? Wow, they've added so much to this mod. This seems pretty crazy. High Clans, this seems more appropriate. So we've got... Oh, these are from uh, Vampire the Masquerade. I actually recognize these. So, uh, Ventru Bru Bruya Toreador should we just pick one at random and see how it goes? What about if we just pick high clans? Sure. We can always change religion later on. And again, I think this is more of a test just to see how it goes before we, you know, really commit to it. Fledgling. A newly embraced vampire. Okay, we should probably take that. Um, animalism. 
Feral whispers obedience. Call of the wild. Subsume the lesser spirit. Right, okay. Um, leashing the beast. These sound like powers that we might have. Or specs. Heightened senses. We can take all specs. Seven. That gives intrigue. Three. Diplomacy plus one. Learning plus three. That seems pretty good. Um, wow, that's ridiculously overpowered. Uh, kindred with this discipline can move faster than any mortal. They appear a blur into nothingness. Wow, okay. That gives martial. So that's the combat one. We got dominate, which I assume will be... Okay, intrigue. I was going to say diplomacy. Vassal opinion plus 25, though. Holy shit. Um, now, I'm going to assume there is a player handbook for this, and I skimmed through it. I didn't want to read too much, because, again, didn't really want to spoil it for myself. But in hindsight... Maybe I should have actually read through that. Wow, these seem really broken. I'm thinking, we're in a Morsa Vampire, right? I'm thinking we take the earlier traits and build them up. Saying that, our max age is 900. I say, let's take these two and give ourselves a relatively easy start. Majesty 5, Dominate 5 seems very, very powerful. Nightmare, what does that do? Martial and Intrigue, Obfuscate. I want to play like a nice, um... I want to play a nice diplomatic vampire. You know, someone who would lure you in with his, uh, his silver tongue. Protean, what is that one? Heaven and Soul, Claws of Wild, Shape of Beast. Okay, so we're not going to be a very good fighter, but we are going to make everybody like us, which seems pretty good. Resilience, Legendary Toughness, Vigor is, um, Vigor underscore 5 desk, but it does give damage plus 50%, martial plus 5. Okay, we've got Chimeristry. Oh my god, there's so much. Necromancy. Oh yeah, I like the sound of that. Let's get everybody else to fight for us. There are so many. Wow. Freak. Strikingly unusual about their appearance or behavior. Fertility minus 15%. Zulo form. Uh, blood form. Mist form. Shadow form. You know what? As fun as this sounds, I feel like let's just go and pick a pre-made character. I'm going to break the game doing this, aren't I? Planet Earth. The year is 1230 and everything is a, not as I remember it, to be honest with you. Okay, so. I didn't want to pick any of the characters of special interest because they're all empire level characters. I want to obviously start small and build our way up. Um, the question is, where the hell do we want to play? Maybe like Brittany would be quite cool. Um, low clans Roman. Ha, huh, okay, interesting. That could be that could be something, I suppose. Um, I don't want to, again, pick anywhere too powerful so that we give ourselves a, a the Sea of Nod. What is this? Red Alert? Oh my god, what is this man? I love him and I want to play as him. I think we actually will. Just look at this man. 148 years old and he is so fucked up. Okay, I'll take a look around. I'll see what I can find and then and then I'll come up with a sort of short list depending on who I can... Uh, who, who catches my eye? All right, so we are playing as Cardinal Sylvester of Castile, which is recommended by the game's sort of um, intro guide. That's a big event pop-up. It's definitely worth reading through. I just skimmed through it very quickly. Um, well, I spent about five minutes just reading through it. Sort of understanding the different mechanics and how things work. So apparently the mod is supposed to represent the the supernatural world rather than the mortal world. So this is the this is their influence over this equivalent province, say, for example. So so rather than this guy being the king of Paris or whatever, or, or this person being the, the queen of Paris, she is actually just has this much influence over what the uh, over the equivalent of France would be, right? It's kind of difficult to explain, but um, I, I kind of understand what they're getting at. So we're playing in Castile. We are a sixth generation vampire. Tag gener oh, I got char info on. Oh yeah, there we go, right. So we are a sixth generation vampire. Uh, powerful vampire blood, martial plus four, personal combat plus seven. And as your as you get new vampires, I assume as we, we just sire them basically rather than actually having traditional children, then your blood will dilute. So our heir here, uh, I wouldn't refer to him as our son, he's our, he's our heir, um, has powerful vampire blood, but he's, he's sixth generation, whereas we're seventh generation. So that trait is getting, oh, apparently he's sixth generation. What? Um, hang on. Um, that's not right at all, is it? Maybe it only happens every few generations? Uh, oh, right, yeah, there we go. So one of the most common vampire generation, this, this guy's eighth generation there. So he has much, much weaker blood than what we had. Now, I suppose the longer the game goes on, the harder it's going to get by that extent. Although we are immortal, so it's sort of a punishment, I guess, for us fucking up. Blood Potency 5 with the innate mystical power concentrated in dead veins. It grows over time or through um, d d di diabliary. <clears throat> yeah, me too. We've got Elder. I assume because we are an elder. One must normally be a century or two old for to be removed from their mortal past to qualify. Right. Choices and sacrifices they made in order to survive this long instills a degree of amorality and slow caution. So, the older we get, the more respected we are, I assume. That we get more months of prestige, martial intrigue, that type of thing. Dominate. Um, these are our different vampiric powers. We've got Dominate 5. Um, Ob ten Tenebration. Okay, sure. Um, we've got Vigor, which is giving us Martial. We've got Majesty, giving us Diplomacy in general opinion. That's very good. We've got Resilience 5 there, giving us more Martial. Um, or Specs, Heightened Senses, and Celerity. Celery, giving us Martial, Personal Combat, that type of thing. Awesome. Now, alongside that, we've also got decent traits anyway. Brave, Patient, Deceitful, Ambitious, or very, very good. We've got the trait Vampire, so we have no fertility, so we can't have children. As I said, we have to actually, you know, sire a, 
or, or convert someone to vampirism, they get counted as our heir. We are a last sombra, I suppose this is our type of clan. Um, social Darwinist, Predators, Elegant and Inhuman, I see. This is a canon character from the World of Darkness, that's this particular date, takes place in the World of Darkness. Um, which is, uh, you know, as it says there, published material from the White Wolf or Onyx Pass. Um, Role-playing game, fiction novel or video game character, I see. We're quick, we're shrewd, and we're an elusive shadow, that seems appropriate for a vampire. What do we want to start off with here? I'm going to go with the classic rulership, and I'm also going to go with... Um, See the Vram Prosper. I don't really know what our goal is, to be honest with you. Because if this is just a, a representation of the Vampire World, do, do we want to expand our influence, I guess, and try and conquer as much as possible? Again, not sure. But I guess we'll find out as we play, won't we? So this is our council. They kind of like us, don't they? Oh, God, our Spymaster is incredibly good. Who is this? Our granddaughter. Nice. Um, is she the best one to have as our Spymaster? I'm not sure, but I'm going to send her the 18 gold there to keep her on side. And we're going to have a studying... No tech points? No tech points. Interesting. Uh, unlock, no building, no building, no building, no building, no building. I think you get the idea. Right, okay. So, no point getting tech then. In that case, we'll just have you scheme. Our uh, abbot is, uh, obviously our steward is, is absolutely crap. Uh, it's responsible for many night to night details of running a government. While the prince concerns himself with the conflict in the city and making certain masquerade goes unbroken, the abbot makes sure things run smoothly in the government itself. I see. Sophia, you are much better. Please collect some taxes. Did I put you in the right province? Yes, I did. Uh, our Templar, incredibly good there. Look at her. Holy shit. Um, are you not the same person? Let's have you training troops, just in case we do end up going to war early on, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Doctus, um, you, my friend, perform statecraft, and we will have our priest here, um, who's also pretty bad proselytizing. Now, how does religion work in this? Um, oh my god, that's a wolf. Uh, lupus. I suppose that means wolf. Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> that's a nice portrait. I like that. Okay, interesting. Apparently, we can convert werewolves to vampirism. God knows what happens then. Oh, God. Um, oh, you play via societies. I like this. That's cool. So, let's take a look then. We've got uh, Via Noctis. We've got... I assume their influence on the world is... Oh, maybe that's what they're referring to. Maybe the higher the influence, the more successful we're doing then. So, we've got um, apparently a pharaoh there. We've got lots of different clans. Holy shit, it's going to take me hours to go through. Who's currently the leading clan then? There was one that was 5% back there. 4%. Via Regalis. And I'm going to assume these are the ones we have to fear. Code of Tremere. Sure. Uh, that man doesn't have a nose. How does he smell? Nobody knows. <clears throat> Band. Right. Um, where, where's our clan then? Via Regalis. We are not the head of that. The current head of the clan. Oh, we're an initiate apparently. Stewardship plus one Adderant. Mentor Paragon. So that just gives us stewardship because we're part of this clan. Maybe we're forced into it because of our vampire race. Let's take a look here then. Yeah, you have to have the trait of that clan. Now, I assume we can leave, but obviously there'll be no point because we're missing out on the bonuses there. And here's the current head of our clan. Is he the same clan then? Uh, we are a... We're a what exactly? We're a La Sombra. So it's not even the fact that he's the same clan. Because this guy is a Ventru. Okay, weird. Uh, Ventru, high clans. We are we are La Sombra, high clans. Right, so maybe it's the same type of uh, religious um, type. <laughs> Probably didn't phrase that very well. So we're, we're both high clans, so maybe that affects it. Again, not entirely sure. I need to do a proper read-through of the book just to make sure. But uh, I kind of understand some of the mechanics. So let's take a look at our buildings here. This is apparently very important. So if we take a look at this, we've got La Sombra Cavalry plus five. They are obviously very, very powerful, and that gives us stewardship plus one. Now, we get influence points from the buildings. As you can see there, Jihad, or uh, Jihad maybe, I'm not sure. Jihad influence points gives a zero point plus one. And maybe these are what give us tech points. Maybe that's what that means. Mortal influence points. Um, now apparently, there is a way to increase your population. I'm going to assume that's in cities themselves. Um, oh, wow. Look at this. Holy shit. Ghoul Doctor. You've ghouled a doctor of an important city hospital. Orderlies can be paid for other services. We can bribe the guards. Simple haven. Wow. Okay. So this is actually going to affect a lot of the game plan then, I assume. Right. Understandable. Have a great day. We've got Warrens, which are our outposts. We've got Elysium, which is a hospital. Barons uh, being the, the fort there. Interesting. Right, so there's a lot to see here. Wow, okay. I suppose the most important thing here is to take a look at our Intrigue menu, because that's what we're going to be doing everything with. Faith in Shadows. Um, the Ashira movement threatens everything our clan stands for. It must be stopped. Um, completely control the Duchy of Sicily. is Lord of the Sea of Shadows. Right, okay, I see. So they are clearly some sort of... Um, some sort of foreign clan, maybe threatening vampiric ways. Not sure. Um, we've got learn the new discipline via favor. So with 1,500 prestige and 280 gold, we can actually learn a new discipline. These are our disciplines, I would assume. We've got celerity. 
which will give us personal combat. We can invoke it, which I assume gives us a sort of um, an enhanced version of it. So Vigor there which gives us martial personal combat. I assume if we invoke Vigor, that will give us um, another plus five personal combat. Right, got it. Shift Shadow Form. So the power of blood and the disciples of Ontenebration shapeshift into a shadow. What does that do for us? I'm not sure. We can always give it a go. Check go global kill plot census. Right. Um, sure. Uh, Elder vampire attacks. There's been no attacks, right? Um, no attacks. I see. So we can actually keep track of how vampires are doing and their sort of success in the world there. Generic attack zero. Sure. Okay, I see. Young vampire, out of vampire. Sure. We've got different... Oh, we can actually learn different types as well. So we need prestige. Oh, wow. We can make ourselves very, very powerful. Because imagine the AI. To be honest with you, we'll be very bad at um, managing this type of thing. Enter torpor. Type of deep slumber that vampires enter for a prolonged period of time. Right. Okay. Um, we can just do that whenever. What are the bonuses for that? So, eternal life. Uh, and awaken in a different age, more commonly, involuntarily, when a vampire starves, is staked or takes sufficient damage. I see, right. Okay, interesting, right, that's kind of interesting. Uh, mass ghoul, use a vampire blood to create a squad, squad of ghoulish warriors, this will erase your bloodthirst. Mass embrace, kill a group of mortals and raise them as your vampiric childer to use as war fodder. This will raise your bloodthirst greatly. Right, okay. Interesting. That's a lot to take in, but I, I do sort of see what our gameplay loop here is going to be. So increase influence, spread ourselves out in terms of, I guess, actual wars as well, if we can do that. Um, Valley Castles Bella, can we not just declare war then? Maybe there's a different way to actually grab that. Maybe it's just because we don't have any clans, I'm not sure. Uh, what if we try a, a holy war with something different then? Um, Jihad, or Jihad. I don't know how you pronounce that. I see, so we're removing a, a different enemy clan from this province and, and we're installing ourselves there rather than, say, taking titles. That should be how we consider it. This guy's the same clan, so obviously we don't want to remove him. He's more of an ally, essentially. Try and gain favor or friendship with him. Right, okay. Offering vassalization. No. But we probably want to gain... Um, we probably want to be doing this all the time. Apparently, this mod is a lot about plotting as well. That's that's an important aspect of it is building up your, your rapport with the vampires. You know, it's sort of the entry game is very strong in this one. So... First things first, we can marry her daughter. Incredible. Glad to hear that. Let's definitely do that. Um, I suppose she's not a blood daughter, though, is she? She's just a, 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 a vampire that we've converted to our clan. So that would make the most sense. Now, we're marrying her just because she's got incredible stats here. So that would make sense. Um, just to increase our state stats here and there. What is the plan, then? What do we want to do, really? I suppose just expand out and maybe try and form ourselves into an empire-level title. That seems the most uh, CK2 centric method of um, playing through this campaign so far. I'm kind of relying on you guys who have played this mod to give me some feedback for where I want to start because there is a lot to take in. And again, I've read the guide, but whether or not we want to sort of adhere to the more intrigue related things, whether we want to be focusing on building ourselves up early on, I don't really know the gameplay cycle. Let's phrase it like that. And again, intrigue seems to play a part in it. Otherwise, there probably wouldn't be a million different societies here. Maybe we should try and get ourselves to the head of this this clan here to um, how do we rank up. We just need nobility. I see. Right. Um... Right, fair enough. Understandable. Now, apparently what we want to do is allow the game to run for some time so that it can convert characters. Uh, apparently a couple of months we should leave it running for. So that characters that are already in the game are converted over to, um, you know, over to the relevant uh, fantasy type of characters. Marbuna, Mar Mar Marbuena, Artemis, Othera has declared the, can the, the fan of the Kingdom of Leon. The entry Kingdom of Astoris is no more short. We don't really care about that too much, I don't think. Um... We can declare war on her. Border disputes. Right, attack Elder. Is she older than us then? She must be a different generation, maybe. Uh, maybe just in terms of... Nope, we're definitely older than her. We're the same generation as well. Seventh and seventh. Oh, we're six. So technically, surely we're older than her. Not sure why. Um, we. Oh, maybe because she counts as an Elder vampire, I see. So we're not necessarily attacking someone who's older than us, but she is just older in general. Um, got it, right. Gain favor, gain friendship. We kind of want her... Her land, her, her influence over the mortal world, as the mod calls it. Right, okay. What have we got over here? This is our... Uh, we can designate heirs. That's what I should probably be looking at. You know, laws, things like that as well. So, it's just Cognatic Elective. Well, obviously, we want to elect the best guy then. How, how is he doing? 12, 29, Intrigue there. Okay, not too bad. This guy is, is better, in my opinion. Higher Intrigue, or decent Intrigue, but high Marshall. Uh, maybe Marshall doesn't play too much into it, seeing as, you know, this is the, the Intrigue game. I've got the guide open on my other monitor just so I can reference back and forth. So influence is, as I sort of predicted here, it, it directly plays into these trees here. So rather than gathering tech points from other people, getting it from buildings, you know, from your learning stat, things like that. Or maybe your learning does plan to it. I'm not sure whether they would have adjusted that. Might be hard-coded. No, there we go. Learning plus stewardship. So 
Um, what we're trying to do is increase our influence to the maximum here. So increase our, our, our influence over Noble Bloodline, say, or Rabble, um, which will be City Vassals, Covenant being the, uh, the theologians there. Okay, interesting. So rather than these unlocking buildings, we're just specifically here for the modifiers, I suppose. So this is probably a bit pointless. Um, although, if they're called no building, then they should probably have a building in-game that it relates to. Um, maybe they just didn't take out the base game ones? Anyway, I'm just spitballing at this point. Let's get on with it then. Let's start building up our influence. So, um, Jihad, Jihad, not sure how you pronounce that. That's going to be military tech points, I assume, just based on the name alone. We've got, yeah, there we are. I'm going to assume it's Jihad. That would make sense, right? So, um, we can go for military influence. We can go for mortal influence, which I assume will be uh, cultural. And then we'll have, I assume, economic, which is going to be, uh, what would economic be called? See if I can find one here. Um, what about Elysium, that might give us... Oh, Supernatural Society, I imagine, is economic. No, nope, the other way around. Mortal influence and economic, right, I see. Got it. So, let's um, take a look, see what we get. Then heavy infantry plus one. We could bribe ourselves a castle guard and get one infantry. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's how it works. Oh, look at that. So we're not going to be going to war, I assume. Instead, what we're going to be doing, I assume, is is grabbing titles based on influence and that type of thing. Maybe there is no warfare. Let me let me refer back to the manual here. There's going to be a lot of learning. Right, I see. So, the, the, the jihad you use against vampiric cultures that aren't your own, like I sort of predicted, vampire religions, I should say, that aren't your own. Because these are the same clans, so we don't want to go to war with them. So, what we're looking to do is is jihad against these characters. And it's literally the vampires that, that, that exist in your realm fighting one another. So, this is going to be 14 versus, say, uh, however many we had there. We've got 22. So, war is going to be a lot more tactical because we're not just sending, you know, 3,000 men versus 3,000 men and then relying on troop counts. We're relying on 22 men. So, we're going to have to be very, very meticulous with how this works then. Interesting, right, and obviously Command is going to play a massive, massive role in it as well. Uh, can we hire mercenaries? That doesn't seem right. That seems very broken. Um, especially if we could just hire 140 dudes like that. Um, although there are only 10 vampires in that one, I assume. Right, so this is just basically humans with vampires along with them. So maybe they're not as powerful as I, I would assume. I assume the vampires get a very, very powerful bonus to their, their sort of tactics and uh, related combat-related stuff. Okay, so, um, that's good to know. So what we're going to try buffing up then is a combination of, um, maybe some sort of infantry. Maybe if we can get vampires themselves, because that's going to give one light cavalry, one light infantry. Only that gives actual cavalry themselves. What praxis? What does that do? Um, okay, we'll build that one just because it takes one day and it's free. Maybe that allows us to build other buildings, I would assume. Sure, we'll let some time take. Uh, let's put it down to light speed three while we're just messing around here. Um, let's go for the influence then. What do we need for these? Well, we actually do need that influence before we build the higher level ones. I see. Right. As I retired to my, I was shocked to find a copy of the Ventral on my bed. At first I thought someone had left it there with the intention to frame me, but you noticed a little note. I think you'll find this interesting. Please give it a chance. Signed, a friend. Intriguing. I guess a little read cannot hurt. So this is actually an attempt to try and convert us to a different religion. Um. Hmm. I mean... That would give us a Cassus Bella, I suppose, against the other clans. Do we want to embrace a different clan's culture? Oh, this is the Ventru clan in particular. Right, so, um... I mean, does it really make much of a difference? I assume they're both going to have very similar mechanics. Uh, yeah, they do. Okay, so we won't worry about that too much. I'll just say, uh, do we want to try and gain the trade Paranoid? That would help out against plots. If we're in a game where plots pay, you know, a big part in it, then that's probably not too bad. All right, so, La Sombra recognized Court. We are, we are an official core of the La Sombra, um, which is obviously our clan in particular there. Very nice to see. And high clans just refer to uh, clans that have been around for a long time. Prestigious low clans are new clans or not very prestigious, that type of thing. So, interesting. Right, what should we go for? Bribe Surf, given us, I feel like just influence points. This only takes seven days to build. So, we want to start building these up as soon as possible, I would assume there. Now, how do you wish to win? Sorry? I'm just all over the place here. How do you wish to mentor your new child, Princess Sophia? As I was reading that, I caught her eye, and she's clearly, uh, firstly, our wife. Secondly, not a child. So, do you wish to mentor her? Sure. Why not? Uh, what does that do? To make her... Uh, nothing? Maybe. Hang on. Maybe it's going to... Uh, entrance? Mm, hang on. Um, maybe that's going to give her one of these. I'm thinking that would give her one of our powers that we have here. So what are these? Okay, let's take a look. Gain favor. Obviously, that makes sense. Gain friendship. That gains sense. Uh, kidnap again. Bloodbind. Um, how does that do? How does that do? Colonel Sylvester and his backers will look at any means to get them bloodbound. 
The means can include gifts, bribes, and blackmail. I don't know what being bloodbound means, so I feel like I'm going to need a glossary up on my other monitor when I play this mod. Cardinal Sylvester wishes to frame Princess Sophia of a crime that we get an XL from the current realm. Right, I see. Okay, we've got Mesmerize. Um, we can gain a favor from her. Entrance. I don't like this one. Invoke the power of the blood through the Disciple of Majesty to entrance an individual to your court. Okay, so that is... Bring her to our court, but she's already in our freaking court. Yeah, let's ignore that. 75% um, chance of increasing her opinion. Sure. Your hunger grows. You now have the blood for thirst. Okay. I entranced my wife, and now I have a thirst for blood. No comment. Not touching that one. Not touching it with the barge. Well, how do we eat? Oh, I remember how we eat. So, I, I read this in the guide, by the way. Uh, we find a human. A random human man, like this boy here. And then we um, we put them in our prison, I think. And then we, we drain them of blood or something like that. So, let's find this one in our court. Um, no, 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 my court here. Let's go ahead and, uh, what about our lovely friend, Gutierre? Uh, can we just chuck him in prison because he's a human? No, that's tyrannical. Um, kidnap. Maybe we kidnap him and drain him of his blood. Let's try that then. Oh, God. Frame him for exile. That <laughs> icon is so large. Absolute chonker. Wow. Um, <laughs> all right, let's try and kidnap Gu Gutierre. Um, people want to join it. Good, good, good. Nice to see. 250% plot power. Let's put the speed up a little bit, seeing as all we're doing is really building and kidnapping so that we can, uh, entrance our wife some more, if you catch my fancy. Build these up as well, seeing as, um, you know, those are only just going to give us benefits. There's absolutely no size doing it. It's cheap, and it's easy. Sorry? Your agents have done the groundwork and are prepared to approach targets to kidnap Goosey. What will you use to set up the rest of your scheme? Call it off. Why? Why can't we ki kidnap him, though? Citation needed. Um, entrance. He's become entrance by my press. Oh! And. <laughs> entrance. Entrance. Not entrance. I was just assuming it was a poor translation. No. Entrance. As in to put him in a trance and make him mesmerized by us. You know, mesmerize and enchant are, are, are pretty much synonymous anyway. Got it. Right. I see. We now have the bloodthirst. Ooh, careful. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake. Um, or we can mesmerize into his favor. I see. Uh, how do we? How do we eat a man though? Uh, in prison. A ward honorary title. Uh, I need to look up how to convert people into blood sacks. Hang on. Okay, so there are two ways to decrease our bloodthirst after we've entranced someone. Um, first things first is take the hunting focus and actually hunt them like you would kind of expect a traditional bleh, vampire to do. Or, we have them in our prison like I sort of suspected and drain them of their blood. Now, apparently, depending on the supernatural, you also get different effects when you drain their blood. So, maybe if we drain a troll, for example, it might give us martial. Or if we drain a human, it will give us whatever humans are good at. Dying. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I feel like we should probably continue with our plot to kidnap Gutierrez and maybe just hope for the best afterwards. Can we invoke? No, that's never going to work, is it? I don't know why. Um, can we invoke a power to maybe increase our... No, it's literally or just personal combat, eh? Huh. Uh, shadow form. No, I feel like we need to take the hunting folks instead. My mistake. Okay. Um, things marshal from melee training to reading the works of ancient generals. That's all it says there, but I, I will assume that it works as intended. God damn it. Why did I pick the rulership focus? <sighs> Who knows? We can just, um, you know, take out current clans as well. So it says here, while attacking a fellow clan member, we lose two party per month. So... That's nice to see, because we do have claims on this dude, uh, specifically Toledo here. Uh, we can also force a vassalization with enough prestige as a base game thing, and these are border disputes as well. I'm thinking maybe these were features added in Jade Dragon that aren't supposed to work the way that, that they are right now. Um, what about vassalization? No. I think we just want to become the Emperor. I think we want to become the Emperor of Iberia. That makes sense to me, or the Emperor of Hispania here. Now, of course, we can Holy War very, very easily. We've got, say, like, these people to our south here. What about Galicia? Uh, a little bit annoying that they're sort of blocking us off from our main sort of port of expansion. But we could always try that next episode. Right now, I still want to get my head around the mechanics. We'll call this one here. I'll keep reading through the manual. Of course, if you guys have got any uh, tips, hints on being a, a, a better vampire than what I'm being right now, which is a bad one, then let me know. And uh, I look forward to playing this one. It seems very interesting. Very different way to play CK2. Shout out to Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Duz, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired to James Ogilvy, Escape and Jackson Woodman for their support on the higher tiers of Patreon and everybody else on this ridiculously long list as well. Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Montoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noblesse, Quet Lutchley, Zar Reven, Facundo Vasquez, Polemaster, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Yoran 
Do you have... <laughs> Damn, I used to be able to do that in one breath. Don't count 217, Jordan Campbell, Asaro, and Sidini. Thank you all for your support. This is weird. Don't worry if you voted Avatar mod. The Avatar mod is coming. I just need to actually know what Avatar is first. I feel like that will make the series just better as a whole. And I uh, hope you like Princes of Darkness.